will give a brief overview of preschool. Um, and then we will talk about enrollment and we will introduce you quickly to some of our central education preschool teachers so they um, you can meet them and then we will let you ask questions um, because we know you probably have some so real quickly our two fabulous spanish outreach workers have joined us tonight and we have rachel lenmark who's here she works there, she's giving you a wave. Um, she works at Central Education Center and Shirley Bartlett is our other, there's Shirley, our other Spanish outreach worker. Um, we have our Director of Community Education, Carol McNaughton Commerce, there she is. And our new fabulous, brand new to Richfield, um, Early Learning Coordinator, Janelle Bolin. There's Janelle. And I'm Amber Lampron, Early Childhood Special Education Coordinator. We also have three of our teachers who teach at Central right now. Our Preschool for Threes teacher, Kirsten Larson. And our fours, Preschool for Fours teacher, Chrissy McDaniels. And our Preschool and ECSE teacher, Emily Norwick. Thanks everybody for being here. And I'm going to turn it over to Janelle to tell you a little bit about um, what preschool is like at Richfield Public Schools. Thanks, Amber. So the preschool programs are part of our Richfield Public Schools, and we're really committed to child-centered excellence. Um, our goal is to prepare your child to a smooth transition from preschool to kindergarten really focusing on family engagement and whole child learning. And we really just want them to have a lot of fun and develop a, a love of learning and to have some fun with their teachers. We'll give you some more specifics on the next slide. So our curriculum and um, assessments are clearly aligned with our the early childhood indicators of progress. You might hear them talked about as ESIPs. They are the state of Minnesota's uh, national sta of standards for preschool children. Um, we're a developmentally appropriate play-based program. So you'll see children doing lots of building, playing, and there's always an academic focus that goes in with that. We're a four-star parent-aware um, rated program. That's the highest rating that you can get with really passionate teachers. As Amber said, I'm new to Ridgefield and that's clearly what jumps out to me even on a screen that our teachers are passionate about early learning and really consider themselves lifelong learners too. Every aspect of our curriculum really focuses on social and emotional learning and you'll see that really um, integrated throughout all aspects of the academic part of the curriculum. So throughout the district, we provide four half days of in-person learning for our four-year-olds and one day of distance learning. That's the hybrid model. Uh, for our three-year-olds, it's two half days, and we are starting a pilot program at Central next year for extended day preschool, which I'll talk more about on the next slide. I'm ready for the next slide. Thank you. So like I said, at Central, specifically at Central, um, our preschool, that is where all the preschool for our three-year-olds is housed. And it, it's on a sliding scale basis, and it's two half days a week that three-year-old children attend. Um, as I mentioned, we have a pilot program opening for the first time. It's going to be an extended day, not just a full school day like in the elementary schools, but an extended day, so 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. That really is the, the free half-day program for four-year-olds paired with um, an extended day for enrichment activities that go on and that part of the day that's the extended day is on a sliding scale for the afternoon so that is a feed based program um, like i said the preschool for four-year-olds is uh, free for the half-day programs that are offered at all four of our elementary schools um, at central we also are we also house all the early childhood special education services so we have a range of services for children from birth all the way to age five. Um, I kind of think of Central as the, the early learning hub of the district, if you will. It's the headquarters. It's where the offices are, where the coordination happens, uh, where you go if you have questions for enrollment or anything like that. At Central, we also, like I said, house all of the early childhood special education 
as well as the early childhood family education. So lots of opportunities there for your preschool age child to, as well. And we also um, have on-site classrooms for the PICA South branch of the Head Start program there. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about um, enrollment later. So that's Preschool at Central. Thanks, Janelle. Um, now it's time to highlight our teachers. Um, we, I must say, uh, have some really fabulous teachers, um, experience and education and just fabulous, great, uh, wonderful with kids. Um, so we'll start with our preschool for threes teacher, Kirsten Larson. And if you could tell us a little bit more about how long you've been teaching and what's your favorite part of teaching. Okay, hi everybody. My name is Kirsten Larson. This is my seventh year teaching preschool, but this is my first year teaching at Richfield. Um, my favorite part of teaching is the students. I just enjoy watching them learn, making connections and building relationships with the children and families, making that partnership and um, just seeing their success and their growth throughout the school year. Thank you, Kirsten. And um, Emily, you are next. Emily Norwick is our preschool and early childhood special education teacher at Central this year. Hi, everybody. It's great to see so many faces. My name is Emily Norwick, and this is my fourth year in Richfield. I love Richfield so much. I'm so happy I made the decision to come here four years ago. Um, this is my 10th year teaching. Um, so I have lots of experience in three-year-old classrooms, four-year-old classrooms, co-teaching, and having classrooms of my own. Um, my favorite thing about teaching is if you can see the little picture on the bottom, um, it says, wish you well at the top with a bunch of hearts with students' faces. Um, like Kirsten said, children are our favorite thing about our jobs. That's why we became teachers. But I really love building the community in my classroom, um, increasing their social emotional development, and having children feel safe and welcome and loved when they come to school. And I use this wish you well board when students are not able to come to school. Um, we sing about the students who are not at school with us and we wish them well. And during times of COVID, COVID that's been very important, um, whether we're virtual or in the classroom or some students are um, not with us on a particular day, we're still keeping them in our hearts. So it's really great to see those social emotional skills built at such a young age and having them foster into all parts of their, their day. Thank you, Emily. And Emily sings a song with that, but we won't make her do it tonight. <laughs> A uh, little song that goes with that. Um, Chrissy McDaniels is our preschool for fours teacher. Chrissy, could you tell us a little bit more about you? Hi, um, I have been teaching early childhood from infants all the way up to pre-K for the last eight years. And my favorite thing about teaching is um, creating an environment that children feel comfortable enough in to be able to explore and learn and um, learn all about social emotional and literacy and math and all that good stuff. Thank you, Chrissy. We can um, move on to the enrollment. There we are. Um, if you would like to enroll in preschool either for threes or fours, your child has to be three or four by September 1st. Um, 2021. Um, priority is given to Richfield District residents who meet eligibility requirements. And we will start confirming placements in February, but that goes on all year long. Um, so we do register, we will keep registering kids all and up until fall and actually still add students even past the first day of school if there are openings. You can apply online, there's the website. Um, Application packets are also available at Central Education Center, and there's our address if you're not familiar with where it is. Um, you can call that number or email us as well, earlylearning at rpsmn.org. Um, we also have our outreach workers. Um, I'll, I'll have maybe Rachel real quickly just tell you 
um, more how they can assist with the enrollment process as well. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Rachel Lenmark. I'm a Spanish bilingual outreach worker at Central. Um, lucky enough in Richfield, each school has outreach workers that help with um, families who just need extra support to um, learn about the school system, get ready for school and everything in between. Um, so we can help all families um, get paperwork. We can help over the phone, make appointments to come in person. Uh, we also schedule and perform early childhood screenings that are important for getting ready for preschool and kindergarten. Um, so give us a call. <laughs> We're here and ready. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Yep, they are very helpful for all of our families. You can call that main number and um, someone can certainly get you um, to one of them if you need assistance. There's a little different view of um, how to enroll. This is what you'll see if you go to our website. Um, again, there's the website early learning at rpsmn.org and the phone number. There are some forms available online um, if you would prefer to download and start your registration process there and at that website um, that we shared earlier. Okay, I'm going to jump in here. Thank you, Amber. Um, I have a little bit of additional information about Central as a school and as um, that hub of information that, that um, Janelle um, described it as. It's a, it's a headquarters for lifelong learning. So we serve all ages from birth through adults and senior citizens. Um, it's a community connection place. So we, we love having our two outreach workers. We also have a partnership with Mira Resources. Um, they are a nonprofit in the community, and they focus on um, connections for all, all residents of all ages, and um, particularly our Latinx populations, too. So um, we're very fortunate that they're in our building. We do have an early childhood social worker who also helps families um, with different supports and connections and, and resources and helps um, work with children and our classroom teachers. So um, we have a lot of um, real great one-on-one uh, -on -one attention and personalized um, experiences for everyone at Central, no matter what your age. Um, we mentioned just briefly the early childhood family education, and that's something that is open, again, to everyone in the district. Um, birth through five and parents attend together, and they have activities as well as separated time with discussion and topics and support. Um, in addition, community education has family field trips. We have events, special events and opportunities to meet each other, get connected with uh, the families of children in the classroom, um, meet other people. So um, lots of opportunities. Um, even if you're not at the central preschool, these are services that um, cross the whole district. So um, anyone in Richfield Public Schools and anyone really in the community at all can participate and get involved in these things together. Um, something for all ages with youth once you get up into the elementary and older after school activities and things like that. Um, we offer um, adult language learning and child care, um, child care with many of our activities. We have sibling care rooms at Central. We also have a great um, outdoor playground. Uh, it's kind of hidden in the back. If you don't know where Central is, we're right next to the high school on the other corner. And in the back, we have a great early childhood uh, playground back there that's fenced in and some, some nice, safe um, courtyard areas for outdoor activities. Looking forward to a lot of those coming up here. And we're always looking for your involvement. Um, parent input is really important. Feedback is super important. We have an advisory council if you want to have a regular commitment. Um, we're seeking people for that. Also, um, email, call tell us um, in person you know, what you'd like to see or how we're doing or, or changes you'd like to request. Um, our contact information will come up here again and will also um, be available through our website and, and the numbers that you had earlier. So um, hopefully we gave you a little bit of a, an overview about our building. We're moving now into um, the most important part to hear from you and any questions that you have, anything that we can follow up on.
there's a little picture of um, one of our classes, I think at the beginning of this year. I'm not even sure when that was taken, but it must have been at the beginning of this year um, with a little bit smaller class sizes. Um, do you, We only have a couple families with us, but if you have questions, we'd be happy to give you our full attention. <laughs> I had a question. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about what happens during the day at preschool. Oh, yes, we can. Uh, let's see, who wants to go? Do you, do you wanna know about threes or fours? Threes. Okay, how about Kirsten? Yes, absolutely. Um, so when the children come to school, we have them really work on independence with hanging their jackets, hanging their backpacks, we have a group time, usually a shorter group time, um, to start out the more or start out the school year, and then as the school year um, gets going further into the school year, then we lengthen the group times a little bit. We have a nice long play time um, where we have science centers put out, math centers, um, lots of manipulatives for toys. We have a dramatic play area, art area. Um, so there's lots of fun things for them to choose from. We get a slotted time for the motor room or, or I guess the gym and then the outdoor space, which is an awesome playground space and the green space we can use as well. Um, so we usually have two group times during the day. Um, one of them is just a morning meeting greeting, greeting. And then we also have a story time and a movement time. Um, during the second group time. And then we also have a snack um, and then it will be time for them to go home. So we, we pack in as much as we can, but they love it and they really get the routine um, and it works really well. Thanks, Kirsten. Does that help, Nicole? Okay. Yes, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'd like to add one thing, Nicole. I think one of the things, you know, Kirsten's maybe being a little humble. As a parent, when you walk into a three-year-old classroom and you just see this magic happening and you think, well, they're playing, isn't that cute? But actually, there is intentionality behind every single thing in that classroom. So when I mentioned the ESIPs, those early childhood indicators of progress, the, the, the types of toys that are put out for play, all of the way that the snack is presented, there's fine motor um, things going on there. There is always all kind of academic things that are embedded in that really fun, goofy, messy play. So everything is very intentional. It's just magical teachers that make those things happen and just look like fun play. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Any other questions from, from you guys out there? Well, you can always um, email us or give us a call. Again, um, our emails are up on the screen and um, we're so happy that you joined us. I did forget at the beginning to mention that we are recording this so that other people could access it online. If for some reason you're uncomfortable with that, I'll just stay on for a few minutes and you can let us know and we certainly then would not um, post it. But otherwise, um, just wanted to inform you that we're gonna use this for other people to get information about Central and, and our early learning programs. So thank you again for joining us. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>